Hello, fellow fishermen. Tim Smith here in Sarasota Bay in the heart of Florida's fabulous Sun Coast. Now, here's a riddle for all you anglers out there. What do you have when you have a beautiful Sarasota morning, a state-of-the-art boat like the Blondio, and a captain who's experienced, knowledgeable, and enthusiastic? The answer, a great day of charter fishing. And speaking of great, here's Jeff Beard, captain of Able Charters right now. Jeff, how are you? Good, Tim. Good to see you again. It's been a long time. It has. Yeah. Too long. I know it. How's the fishing been? Fishing's been really good, um, offshore in particular for us. That's where I want to take you today. Okay. We're at the mercy of the weather. Uh, we've had some tough weather recently, two extreme cold fronts has dropped the, dropped the water temperature down a lot out there, which can be good. It's down to probably 70. It was 84. Okay. So with a 70 degree weather, you get some more migratory fish coming in, cobia, things of that nature. So that's where I want to take you, man. All I'm right. Hook you up today, baby. Well, let's do it. All right. All right. Excited. After you. So Jeff is always talking about how he loves to hunt for fish, and he certainly has the technology here to do that. Jeff, what am I looking at here? Well, Tim, this is a 2017 boat. It's got state-of-the-art electronics. This is a Simrad, and I've got a split screen. And one here, this is basically a topographical map. If you're a hunter, and I like to think that I, well, I, I know that I'm a hunter uh, up <laughs> north. Um, this shows me the contours. It shows me the grid lines. Each line is a foot deep. And uh, we could troll right over humps and holes and things of that nature. This thing is awesome. It has a track of showing us where we went. Say we were in a place we weren't familiar with, mm -hmm. dangerous area. I could turn the boat around and stay right on that track in zero visibility and get us home. And also, fish tend to eat in the same place, right? Yeah. So history repeats itself. History repeats itself with fish. Fish are like humans. Humans eat at restaurants, okay? Right. Fish eat at restaurants, too. Um, Inshore fishing, grass flats or restaurants, grass flats. Crabs are in there, shrimp are in there, all kinds of things are in there. Small fish go in to eat all that, bigger fish come in to eat the smaller fish. Uh, that's just, just the way it goes. Offshore, which is where we're going, that's where we're going, buddy. Uh, <laughs> offshore, you have, you have uh, wrecks, you have reefs, you have holes, hard bottom, whatever. But those are restaurants. So what I have here on the Simrad, um, I just click this. I go to my waypoints. These are these are these are special places. I shouldn't be showing the, the longitude and latitude to people. These are places but, you've had success before. These are my restaurants. Okay. So there's one restaurant in particular that's having a special today. And what would that special be? Maybe some big grouper. Big group. Well, we've got a special for them today. We've got um, we've got shrimp. We've got greenback minnows. We have blue runners. We have mullet that I've netted. We got all kinds of fresh bait, and I got a bunch of dead bait for the Goliath grouper out there. Okay. And an eight foot bull shark that you're going to catch. All right. All right. Also, I have, you know, we have this. This is the depth of where we are. And um, so this will get us where we want to go. I, I'm going to punch in our waypoint in a minute. I don't want to do it here because I want to do it when I'm off there for a straight line. But once we get close, then I use this GPS because this gets me to the foot. This gets me in the area, this gets me to the foot. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. You know, the best thing about fishing with Jeff, besides having a good time and catching fish, is Jeff's all about the environment, what's good for fishing, and an, you always get an education when you're out here with him. So I always learn something new. He takes the time to go over what he's doing. He doesn't just do it. He explains why. And uh, for me, that's something I really enjoy yeah. about being out here with him. Well, I appreciate that because really I've been an educator my whole life right. and, and to me I just like taking people out that, that are really new and if I can help them learn right it's fun it's, no, fun it's great so. it's not about just putting fish in the boat for me it's not right you know that's that's right. there's more to it than that for sure but we're putting fish in the boat today all right all right brother well let's get to it all right. So how far out are we, Jeff? We're about 10 miles out, give or take, give or take a mile. It's my and, secret and spot. This is what <laughs> secret spot. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. Yeah, right that's, here. that's a that's a, some some structure. I'm looking for, and that might be what we're looking for. Now it's flat again, so we just went over a little restaurant. I'm gonna back it around. Now see this? Here's bait fish. Uh -huh. I would imagine there's some structure coming. Maybe not. Okay, so how close can you actually get to where you've been before or where you want to target? One foot. 
One foot. That's amazing. Give or take it? six inches. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to back around and um, try to get right on this reef. All right. Now, Jeff, let's say I have young kids with me, or maybe I'm not a water person, and um, I'm not comfortable being this far offshore. What, what are other options you can provide for this? That, that's a good question, Tim. I don't always go offshore. In fact, most people, most people do not want to go offshore. They don't have to. So, you know, we, a lot of times we'll focus inshore. Okay. It was nice and quiet in there today. Right, right. We would have stayed right in the nice quiet areas. They would have think they think that they're fishing in a lake uh -huh. up north somewhere. And, and we can catch in, in that area. We can catch trout. Uh, you know, all kinds of fish. Out here, it's more like big game fishing, right. uh, which I'm drawn to. So if I don't have a charter and I can get out here, I can come out. Here. All right. So there's a product for everybody. Everybody yeah. can come out and have a good time. With you. I know you're big on safety. What are some of the safety things that you provide to the customers here? The big one is my VHF radio. Okay. If, if, if something went really bad really quick, you can just do a mayday on that. The Coast Guard monitors channel 16, and you can just dis push this distress button. They have our boat registered, and uh, boom, they would have our GPS coordinates, and, and we'd be good. Okay. So there's a lot to it. That's perfect for fishing. Okay. What we're doing. So, game on. Let's get it done. All right. Let's got a go. fish on here. <laughs> what do you got, big boy? I think it's a small. One. Probably use it for bait, but it counts. I mean, uh, it's coming up pretty easy. But it's a good start, Jeff. What were we out here? Five minutes, and it's uh, already a fish. So, what do we got? Oh, spotted pinfish. They got a spot on the tail. Want to save that for me? Got a big one, Timmy! There's our first bull shark. Oh my god, Jeff, that's just insane. Really insane. Beautiful fish. That's nice right there. That's he, a monster. He's trying to get down the bottom and yeah. get in that structure so I can't get him up, right? Give him a Give him a little bit up the fuck with your head. Yeah! Just pretend you're working out, baby. So all these days in the weight room for a reason. That's right. Ah. There we go. Reel down, reel down. He released it. Pump up, it. pump up. Pump that rock nope, right up. Nope, nope, he's still on. Yep. Now, Timmy, pump up. Ah. Don't, don't reel, just pump. Yep. He's trying to run on me. Yep. When he, give, when he gives it to you, you reel back down. Right. Ah. I believe he's way too big for a net, but I'm going to get a net. Pump him up. Might be a Goliath, but it might not be a Goliath. Pump him up and reel down. Exactly. Let the pole do the work, not the reel. He's tired out. Well, look who he's dealing with. He I don't know what this he's is. He's getting close, I think. Hey, it's pump exciting, pump. huh, Jeff? It's awesome. Ah, he's giving one last effort. Whoa, look at that. Look at that fish. Get a photo of that sucker. That's pretty awesome. At least this one we got up, right? Yeah. That is wild. Look at that thing. That's a nice fish. And that's a, that's a very nice fish, believe it or not. That's a little one. Look at his smile, Dan. Look at my smile, though. I think my smile's more precious. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's the thing with offshore. You, you just don't know what's going to hit. He hit a big hunk of fish. Dead fish. And Tim made him pay. That's the whole thing. That is pretty cool. Nice job. Just hold them like this, right? Tim's on another one. Yep. Sometimes it's a little bit of a standoff. Until it comes up. 
Tim's on another one. We thought the uh, we thought we were done, but never say never. Oh, he's running, man. Walk to the back, Tim, yeah, so he doesn't get under running. the motor. We gotta get over this motor. He is running. They are fighters. Jeez. Nice. Nice, nice. Here he goes again, man. I'm gonna bring the motor up so we don't have problems with that. Look at him, look at him coming yeah. through the water. Oh, I better watch me. Coming down there, you yep. know? He's trying to go under the boat. That's the biggest concern is the motor. Yep. <coughs> no, it's just oh, yeah. It's not his first rodeo. No, he's been. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no. Still, still on. Still oh, oh, oh! Stay on him. Stay on him, Timmy. Jeez! Look at him cut through. You think he's off? They're like a freight train. Oh yeah, they they fly. No doubt about it. He might come out of the water. He's still green. He's coming close. Still taking a line. Suckers got it. Dirt. Yeah, they're 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 men. I'm just gonna let them go. Yep. Until that tip comes up. Exactly. But every time he rests, then he he takes off again. You know. Yeah. He's still paying the price. Yep. He's in good shape. When he goes left, when he gets closer, Tim, and he starts going left and right, then whatever way he goes, you go the opposite. Yep, yep, and what yep. you're doing is you're working side, you know, sideways on him. And he'll have to turn his head and when fish, fish do have shoulders, I mean, as goofy as it looks, but when you turn that head and those shoulders, it really puts a beating on him. He's resting up. He's going to make another run on me. Well, reel down on him a little bit and make him pay then. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Looks like he's starting to simmer a smidge. He's getting close. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, Dan, well, I think we'll, we'll double team off here. You want me to take that? Might be good for the back seat. Now this one we caught on an artificial lure. The grouper and the shark were on jacks. Yep. Nice job, my friend. That's pretty good. Look at that. That's what it's all about offshore. It's all good. Inshore is great, but if you want really to have your breath taken away a little bit, offshore is cool. And it's safe. You know, we're not going to do anything silly. Well, you know, our definition is silly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? That's a beautiful fish. It's beautiful fish. It really is. The reflection, it's iridescent. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Bonita. Well, just another great day of fishing here, Jeff, on the Gulf of Mexico where the water's warm and the fishing's always hot. Doesn't get much better, huh? No, it doesn't. We've had better days and we've had worse days, but that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, fun day. One shark, a goliath grouper, some small bait fish, and a uh, really nice bonita. We're going to catch about 100 more here, but, but that's it for now. Good way to cap it off. Heck yeah. Good job. Well, thank you again. You're very welcome. My pleasure.